here welcome back to my channel my name is Shelby and today I'm going to be doing a Kindle book haul I haven't done one of these in a few months and ever since I did my last one I've accumulated over 20 books I do get a lot of these for either free through Amazon first reads or really good deals on Amazon and I usually don't pay more than a couple dollars for an ebook I will link all these books down below and let's get right into it the first book I have to talk about is Baking Me Crazy by Carla Sorensen. This is the first book in the Donner Baker series, and this I think takes place in the same exact world as Penny Reed's books. So if you like Penny Reed's kind of setting, I think you would really like this one as well. And I don't know too much about it other than it takes place at a bakery, which sounds really good. I think this series is a small town romance series, which is near and dear to me. I love those types of books. And this cover is amazing, so that's basically the main reason that I picked it up. The next books I purchased were actually in a set on Amazon. It was way cheaper to buy a three set rather than each book individually and the series is the Ivy Years by Serena Bowen and I first heard about this series from Avery over at Avery Loves Books I will link her down below and she recommended the first book in the series which is called The Year We Fell Down and I think this is a new adult romance series set in college and I think this one specifically has really good disability representation from what she said so I'm really looking forward to reading it I do like Serena Bowen's writing and I haven't read her writing without Elle Kennedy so I'm really excited to kind of see how I feel about her writing alone. Next two books in the series are The Year We Hid Away and The Understatement of the Year. So like I said, I can't wait to get to this new adult series. The next book I have is a really short novella and that is One Hot Night by Casey Shea. And this is a really short novella that is a prequel to another one of her books that is on Kindle Unlimited. And I think it is about firefighters, which hello, that sounds amazing. And this one was free. It wasn't available on Kindle Unlimited, whereas the rest of her books are. But I think it was free because it's like a 50 page book. So I'm going to read this one and then probably jump right into the firefighter book. The next book I have is Rushed by Nicole S. Gooden. I don't know what it's about, but I think I got it for free because I got like an email about some Kindle book deals and this one was on super sale. It looks really promising, so I picked it up just in the hopes that it would be a good one. Then for October, I got two books for Amazon First Reads. The first one is The Puzzle of You by Leanne Mercer. I don't know what this one is about, but I believe it is a woman's fiction novel with some like family dynamics. And the second one is Underlying by Janelle Harris, which is a thriller. So I'm really excited to pick up both of these. I actually think we were only supposed to get one book this month, but for some reason I think I hit a glitch and I got two free ones, so that is pretty awesome. Then recently The Missing Years by Lexi Elliott was one of the deals of the day for Amazon, and I've heard Books and Lala talk about this book, so I've been really excited to read it. I haven't read anything by this author before. I think it might be a YA thriller, which usually isn't my jam, but it looked really good and it was a really good deal, so I'm really excited to read it. The next book I got is Archer's Voice by Mia Sheridan. I read this one during contemporary -thon, so I linked that vlog down below but this one is a super hard-hitting romance and I absolutely loved it so I'd highly highly recommend you guys pick this one up because it is so good the next one I have is pushing the limits by Brooke Cumberland and I don't know what it's about but the cover really intrigued me and I think I also got this one for free and this one is an adult romance the next one I have is Until I Fall by Claudia Burgoa. This one I actually already read as well during contemporary -thon, and I ended up not really liking this one, but it is a military romance about a doctor as well. So if that sounds really good to you, you might really enjoy it. It was free, I believe, at the time. I'm not sure if it still is. The cover is also really gorgeous. It just unfortunately was a miss for me. The next book I have is The Girls at 17 Swan Street. I don't know how to say the author's name, so I'm just not going to try and butcher it. And this, I believe, is about women or possibly possibly sisters who deal with anorexia so I know it's a hard-hitting contemporary and my friend Kendra over at Kendra Loves Books really enjoyed this one so I'm excited to pick it up even though the topic is so dark. The next two books I'm really excited for and I picked them up for free or really cheap but unfortunately they've all now been put on Kindle Unlimited so I'm kicking myself for purchasing the second book and those are the first two books in the Pucked series by Helena Hunting and I got Pucked I think for free and then I also got Pucked up for like 99 cents but like I said they're now on Kindle Unlimited limited if you guys want to check them out. And I know this is a really popular new adult hockey series and I've heard it's really funny as well so I really can't wait to read them. The next book I have to talk about is Good Boy by Serena Bowen and Elle Kennedy and as you guys know I really loved this book. I gave it five stars. It is an amazing sports romance also about hockey and I loved our hero in this story Blake. He is such a goofy but lovable character so if you like those types of books I think you would love this one too. 
The next three I also got from Amazon First Reads. I think the first one is from August and then the other two are September. So the first one I have is Here to Stay by Mark Edwards and this one I already read and loved. This is a thriller about a newlywed couple who invite their in-laws to come move in with them and they are basically the in-laws from hell. And this one was really good. I really recommend it. The next two I have no idea anything about what they're about. The first is Drowning with Others by Linda Kerr and this cover is really intriguing. I think it is a thriller. The next one is Little Voices by Vanessa Lilly and also again I don't know the premise. I know it's a thriller and I've heard kind of negative things about it but I still want to read it and give it a try. The next one I have is On My Life by Angela Clark. I don't know what it's about. I know that it is a thriller and it was on super sale so I just picked it up. I think the premise at the time sounded intriguing but like I said I'll have all these linked down below if you guys want to check out the full summaries. The next one is Under My Skin by Lisa Unger and I've been trying to get into her books. I have one of her books out from the library. I got this one on sale and I've heard her writing is really good so I wanted to give one of her books a try when it was really affordable on Amazon and I know it's a thriller and that's basically it. The next one I have is Boyfriend for Hire by Kendall Ryan. I've already read this one and it's the first in a series called Escorts Inc. and it is basically about a male escort and he starts dating a girl who has no idea what his job is and basically he is hired to be her date unbeknownst to her. She thinks they're just being set up but he knows that he is hired to date her really cute and if you like those kind of fake dating kind of books I think you would like this one. The next one I have is Aroused by Nina Lane. Again I don't know what it's about but I did get it for free when it was on sale and the cover was really cute too. The next one I have is Baby Mine by Kennedy Fox and this one I also got for free. It is the first book in a duet by this author and the first book is still free if you guys are interested in it and I don't know much about it but I've heard amazing amazing things about this author and I really can't wait to pick it up. The next one I have is It Sounded Like a Good Idea at the Time by Kylie Scott and I've heard this is a really taboo age gap romance about a girl who falls in love with her dad's best friend or co-worker. That sounds amazing. I've heard kind of mixed things about this book but I'm really intrigued by the premise and can't wait to read it. The next one I have is Junk Mail by Kendall Ryan and this one I also already read and really enjoyed it. It's about a guy who ends up sending a nude to an anonymous person. He thinks he's sending it to a girl he met online but she gave him a fake number so he sends it to this random girl and it turns out the next day that random girl girl that he sent it to ends up being his brand new client and they have this really awkward encounter. It's really funny, really cute, really steamy and I think you guys would definitely like it. The next one I have is Truth or Beard by Penny Reed. This is the first book in the Winston Brothers series and I'm really excited to start this series. I always hear Ash over at Ash Heart Books talk about it and I really want to give it a try and let her know what I think about it. I'll link her channel down below since she recommended it to me and this is a small town romance series about several different brothers who all live in the same town and I'm really really excited to get to it but it is a rather chunky book so I've been feeling really nervous to pick it up but I'm hoping to get to it before the end of the year. So those are all the Kindle books I picked up in the last three months or so. I would love to hear if you've read any of them and if you liked them. Like I said I will link them all down below as well as the channels that I did mention. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys on my next one. Bye!